Bro, good video, but just a little less talking. And the funniest bit about all this is that the account is called Jesus. So Jesus told me basically to shut up. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different uh, and that was to actually go ahead onto my YouTube and look for hate comments on purpose. Now we all know that the horse community is not the most supportive sometimes. Uh, I think uh, especially when somebody posts riding videos, there's a lot of uh, hate and judgment and uh, people that want to give their guidance and opinions. And sometimes this can be beneficial, but most of the time it actually comes out wrong. So I spent the morning going through my YouTube and looking for some comments that I would regard to as hateful comments or maybe some comments that made me laugh uh, and I decided to make a video and sit down with you guys and share them and we can we can go through this together a little bit because it was um it was too funny not to share. As you can see I have a lot on my phone. I took some screenshots so we're going to be really picking out the best ones, the ones that really, you know, dig deep and hit the right kind of spots. <laughs> I before I start this I want to say that uh, I'm really lucky to have such an amazing community because uh, on my channels and on my pages, I don't really get that many hit comments thing like knock on wood But that doesn't really happen. So it was actually on the harder side to find but nevertheless they were there And you know, I take criticism quite well, so I wouldn't take most of the criticism as hate uh, But there's definitely a few things in here that made me laugh uh, and that made me want to share with you guys So without further ado, let's just get into the video. So we have our first comment But what I'm gonna do is I'm not actually gonna read everybody's uh, like account name uh, that they're commenting with just because it's um, I know they put it out for the world and I know everybody can see these comments if you go on my YouTube But I thought it'd be nice to them if I just leave the, the full channel out. So Camilla says uh, hello, what is your job? And this isn't really hate, but it made me laugh <laughs> because uh, I do so many different things that I understand people are often really confused about what I do. Uh, and so let's answer that very quickly. So I model, uh, I ride horses, uh, I do social media, I present, and I work with various different uh, companies as well, such as uh, a production company that with my own TV show now called Saddle Up. So it is very spread out and I understand why, um, why there is some confusion. In my opinion, you've gone soft since joining yesterday. Uh, much too much unprofessional. Maybe you're in love and that's more than great. I just need to bow out. <laughs> so, you know, if this is too much for you, if it's unprofessional, then let, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is just how it's going right now. Oh my God, this one was hilarious. It says, and now I can say I've seen someone suck off a horse on YouTube. And at first I took that very wrong, but then I realized it was in my vacuuming my horse video. And so I, I just thought it was funny. So these next comments are actually coming from the videos of Emporio. And although I had amazing positivity, I also had a lot of people that wanted to come on there and uh, be a little bit judgmental and share their opinions and be a little bit rude. So thank you for that. S such as this one from Anna. It says, horses behind the bit, broken at the third vertebrae, not through, sad, terrible riding. Um, and what I have to say to this is, without getting defensive over everything that is said to me, um, is that, you know, this is a very, very young horse. Um, I didn't post uh, the video as uh, what a textbook perfect head carriage should be. Uh, the Andalusian and Pierre breed in general uh, is a very collected breed, so they tend to have a tendency to go behind the vertical very easily, and this is something they do naturally by themselves. So actually, what I'm working with with Joao and with Emporio, my horse, is to constantly put the hands forward and let him take that uh, uh, take that forward stretch with the neck into the contact, opening up uh, the frame. But you know, terrible riding. Thank you. I personally hated the way the canter looked. No hate. <laughs> well. I mean, it's fine. Someone else, can Matt do anything for himself? I mean, that's a little bit true. <laughs> that horse looks stupid with the knee action. Don't hold him so tight. Oh. I know he is still young, but you are way too big for him. Now, this is something that threw me off a little bit because I'm quite a slim guy. I'm, I am tall, but I don't weigh very much. Um, and my horse is around like 166 and they are saying that I'm too tall for my horse So, you know, if that's what you believe, that's totally fine and The English is a bit off, but I'm just gonna read it how they type it Because this is how they wanted me to read it So I'm really trying to present them how they want it to be presented So, you don't need two blankets for the horse It's too warm And the horse goes in wrong shape The neck is bent too much So you work your horse wrong your horse should go in low and long from to really work with back and hind legs. 
And yeah, I agree, it looks nice, but it's not sustainable for the horse. I hope you and your trainer knows that. Now, once again, especially for young horses, the hardest thing for a young horse to do is to actually stretch forward and bend down and be over the back. So I think it's a little bit unrealistic to expect the horse to be doing that, especially when they've been broken in for just a few months. But you know, if that's what you think, Sandra, thank you, I appreciate it. Someone else, this is this is the most hilarious one. Anyone else notice he's copying everything about Yessa? First, the Shetland, and now the Spanish horse. Look, <laughs> it's true, I've taken some inspiration from Yessa because I think he's very good, he's a very good rider, horse trainer, uh, and he actually was the person that really got me to know the PRE breed to begin with, so yes, I took a lot of inspiration from that. And I don't think there is anything wrong with doing that at all, just like I take a lot of inspiration from a lot of top riders out there. Um, so I don't really see the point in saying something like that, and also, I don't have a Shetland, I have a miniature, uh, and I, I've seen this comment actually by this person, Grace, thanks Grace for leaving multiple of these comments everywhere, uh, and she was also referring that I have a Shetland and a Spanish Stallion, like yes, but yes, it has a, a Pierre Gelding, and I've got a Spanish Stallion, and he's got a Shetland, and I've got a miniature, so, you know, it's just we all love horses, and we're doing our best. Next one, wow, 13 minutes of video, and 15 seconds of horse. Can you spell narcissist? I mean, that's a fact. That, that wasn't true. There wasn't much horse video in that one, so I, I'm sorry. Very beautiful horse, but unfortunately, I think I heard you say you were going to use him for show jumping. This is about Emporio, uh, which is extremely cruel. It's so unfair to horses. It's so unfair. Where am I? So unfair. To this is why I'm getting it wrong, because it's spelled wrong. Well, the grammar is wrong, which is extremely cruel. It's so unfair to horses to jump them. Just another person who has no clue. Sad. <laughs> um, well, I was never planning on jumping in Poirier, not that I think jumping is cruel at all. But I understand you're worried and, and I'm hearing you. This one made me laugh, no, not because it's hate, but it's because it's a personal joke that I have. Uh, and it says, Matt would make a great male model, he has the looks. And I think that's very sweet, I want to thank this person, Maureen, for the comment. But it always made me laugh because I've been modeling since I was 17. Uh, and so, it kind of goes, it, it almost makes you think like for the last four years I haven't been doing it. So it, it only makes me laugh for that reason. But, but thank you Maureen, that's a bit of a nice comment thrown in there. Three year old isn't a stallion, okay. I don't know who you are, but all I heard was, look how much money I have. I'm not sure why I said that. I'm sorry if that offended you. Um, I will try and show less next time. Why are you buying a stallion? There is no reason. I hate how people get stallions for no reason. If you're not breeding, then don't get one. There's no need. They don't make you look cool. Okay? Now, I don't... I didn't go into this looking for a stallion just to look cool but i'm glad you think it makes me look cool or you or you think that i want to be cool but thank you jada that's that's very nice of you too young to be ridden behind the vertical grow spurs and geld your stallions geld them um she's kind of hitting me from all sides here, so i'm not sure where to even start to begin with this but she is called basic so i'm just gonna leave it at that Matt is just my mom. <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment or not, but it made me laugh, so I had to put that one in there. What the fuck is happening here? Uh, Carl, I also don't know. <laughs> this is uh, about the makeover video I did for Chase, where I said he was like, giving my huge horse a makeover. I think 178 is kind of big for a horse, so I thought, okay, it's a pretty big horse. I haven't met too many horses bigger than him. And somebody said, his horse isn't even that big. Why exaggerate on the title? Plus, extreme makeover. The horse looks exactly the same. Dude is obviously coming up with random reasons to show off. He's not really impressive horse. Poor Chase. You know what you can say all you want about me, but don't bring my horse into it. Uh, I think my horse is impressive. Uh, Grace, wow, we have another Grace being a hater. Um, maybe just have fun with your horses and don't watch my videos. Baby is this horse so much. That is absolutely true, Julia. Someone just simply said, you're so mean. I'm not sure what warranted that, but I guess I am. This next one is something that throws a lot of people and that is my accent. 
Uh, and this person wanted to, you know, bring that to everybody's attention. So he said, Your voice sounds like a British person mixed with an American, mixed with a whale. <laughs> Once again, less talking, more action. Apparently, I just talk a lot all the time. Must be nice to have a rich mummy and daddy. Now, listen, there's nothing wrong if your parents support you. Uh, my parents supported me for a very long time, uh, and I think I'm very grateful for that. I never saw it as being spoiled, even though I probably was. Uh, but I've got a very, very loving parents that were able to kind of help me with my dreams. Uh, but I've been cut off a long time ago now, so everything I do, I pay for myself, I work for myself. Um, but thank you for asking about my mom and dad. They're fine. They're doing well. <laughs> you look like a stupid model. Um, from Lolo. I, I don't know what to say. Just keeping me down to earth. You're ugly. I never said I was pretty, so I agree with you. You can take that. Khadija. I actually had a Khadija that went to my primary, so I hope it's not you. Somebody right underneath that. You know what? This has been like, it's actually like all in a line. There's three comments of hate just underneath each other. So it goes, you're ugly. Uh, your videos are trash. Okay. Um, and then it just goes underneath abuse. Just plain outright abuse. Um, so that's, uh, that's, a, that's a good triple, triple there to hit me with. This guy bugs me. All right. I like the ones that comment about my appearance because there wasn't too many, sadly. Uh, but this one says, he has a weird square-shaped face. I think my face is also kind of square. It took me a while to get used to it, but now I kind of am. So let's, let's not kind of make me insecure about the square situation. But thanks, Grace. Grace just hates me. I think this is the same Grace that has been leaving the other comments. She just went on my account and just hated. She just hated the whole way down as much as she could. Okay, so I kind of wanted to leave uh, the comments to that for now. If you guys would like, uh, I can do a part two. But I wanted to talk about a subject that everybody loves to pitch in, in the horse community and in general leave hate. Uh, and this is something that happens also on other people's YouTube that I've seen. It happens on people's comments and it's mostly when people see uh, someone else riding. Now look, nobody is perfect when it comes to riding. Everybody's learning constantly. But I don't understand how... Firstly, let's start off. I want to start off by saying this and I'm being 100% honest. I've never in my whole life left a hate comment I've never left like a bad word on someone's channel I think it's because I've better stuff to do in my life and I also know that that's not gonna do any good at all uh, I don't even think I've left constructive criticism because it's not up to me. I'm not in a position where uh, Somebody is gonna is gonna want that so it's not really my thing to do if it is your thing to do I would like you to keep some things in mind and this is something that I don't understand how the, the kind of a question world works um, because most of what you get judged on when you ride horses is just when you ride, which is let's say 30 minutes of uh, the horse's life uh, instead of looking at 24 hours. And everybody usually gravitates to the bit. That's something that is um, very controversial. Uh, everybody gravi gravi gravitates to also the spurs and the whip. Uh, which I can totally understand because if they're misused just like the bit, it can be very abusive. Uh, but that's it. Nobody else is concerned about anybody else. Nobody else is concerned about the welfare of the horse uh, day to day, uh, the attention it gets, if the saddle is fitting, if it's on the right diet, if it's been if it's been properly evaluated by a vet, if it's not lame or in any discomfort, uh, and if it's been seen by a chiropractor. Nobody cares about how they actually treat their horse uh, and how they interact with it on a day-to-day -day basis. If it's stable, if it goes out uh, in the field, uh, if it gets the proper actual vet care when it's needed. So I think it's very ignorant to just look at somebody from a few minutes of video and completely judge everything about the horse without knowing any history about the rider and to sit there and talk so much negativity and so much bad stuff about something that you know is only 30 minutes of the horse's life and you just like not caring about everything else when I make videos about my everyday life with my horses nobody comments anything rude when they could you know everybody has an opinion everybody could always say something but as soon as there's two minutes of video of riding then everybody just goes ham and goes crazy but like if you want to be the person that uh is looking out for the welfare of the horse wouldn't you want to look out for uh not only the minority of the horse's life but also the majority and you know 
And then you'll probably tell yourself, yeah, but how are we meant to know if, you know, things are going bad in everyday life? Well, how are you meant to know if things are going bad in the ride? How are you meant to know the history of the horse or the, or the health history of the horse? Um, you know, there's so many people that come and judge quickly about young horses and how they're being ridden or about all the horses, or about my horse Chase, even about my horse Bear. You know, everybody has uh, an opinion and I think it's time that everybody reflects on themselves. Uh, talk to your friends. You can judge them because you know them. But if you don't know someone, if you don't know the horse, if you don't know the situation, it's easy easier just for you to keep to yourself uh, and keep the kind of equestrian spirit more positive. You know, we're already not a massive community. This sport is something that is a minority and there's not, uh, you know, all this money going into it. We don't need everybody like slandering each other uh, about very, very small things at times. I'm the first person to call out abuse if I see something that uh, isn't fair or if it's not right for the horse. Um, but I think everybody needs to be a little bit more understanding. You know, not every video is going to show uh, uh, the horse looking perfect and that's what training is training is not meant to be perfect sometimes training is quite ugly because it's the process of you and your horse understanding things one thing that gets me completely annoyed is when people talk about behind the vertical and roll curve and people don't understand the difference being behind the vertical is when the horse uh, brings its nose behind the pole okay that's and that's head carriage uh, and so this can be achieved in two different ways. The rider can put it there uh, and then it can also be achieved by the horse putting himself there as well. Uh, a lot of weak horses will put themselves there because it's easier than carrying their we the themselves properly. Uh, and that is what my horse does in Porio. He does that a lot uh, and it's a balanced thing. And this is something that can be seen when you ride bitless, when you ride without a bit, you you just look at your horse cantering in a field. Sometimes they, they canter around all like collected back and behind the vertical. So that's something that people need to lose a bit of power to that word. There's a bit of difference between a horse being ridden behind the vertical and a horse going behind the vertical and the, and the line between that being wrong. Now, roll curve is something a little bit different because that's when the rider forces uh, and hyperflexes the neck and usually the, the, the chin it goes down and it's so much touching the chest. That it's, it's a training method used by some that I don't agree with with and I don't use but I'm not gonna go out of my way to tell these people that they're wrong I haven't looked into it enough to actually say for 100% fact scientifically it's wrong uh, so it's not something that I'm gonna involve myself into I can have my opinions but I'm gonna keep them to myself because I'm not educated enough in the field to, to, to tell these people otherwise um, if I wanted to I'm pro I'm sure I could look up look into things enough to, to get to a point where I am but I don't think I am and that's why I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything a lot of people are always like oh Matt can you make reaction videos to roll code and things like that I don't know enough about the matter to say anything so I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna uh, speak with an uneducated opinion uh, and maybe put people down when I know nothing and this is talking generally not just about roll curve. Um so I think people need to start being a little bit more lenient when people are showing them the training and the process of getting a horse uh, to the to the final picture that is hoping to be pretty and harmonious and nice uh, because the communication and getting to know your horse and training is not always going to look good. There are going to be moments where it's not the prettiest, there's mis uh, misunderstandings and you're going to have to work through that and there's no reason why anybody should be judged for trying to work through that to get to that better stage with your horse where you're both going to be understanding each other and working in the right way. No horse is born perfect, uh, no horse has the perfect training when they're born, it is a process and in that process you have to expect things to go wrong so to end this i want everybody to start giving each other a break take it easy if life is really that bad go write it in your diary i don't think there's any need to just like be bullying people and if there is plain side abuse of course there's reason to say something but just insulting someone is going to be doing nothing you know constructing criticism and guiding people towards the right thing is what i believe in uh, i've never left a hate comment and i never will uh, and i think that's something that a lot of you should be thinking about if you are leaving hate comments but enough about that guys, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I had a lot of fun making this video and I think it's nice to laugh at yourself every now and then uh, and get a chance to, to talk about these things openly. Obviously hate is something that happens to everybody. Uh, if you're experiencing hate yourself, please know you're not alone. Literally everybody gets it and I think it's very normal for it to sometimes also affect you. I was very excited when I had to share my news about Emporio and when I saw a lot of people being like, oh he's behind the vertical, he's behind this, it kind of took a bit of that excitement away. But I am very lucky to have what I have, to have the horses I have and to have the trainers behind me that I believe in and that I'm going to be uh, sticking with their opinions and that fuels me to reach my goals in the way that I best see fit and I hope you guys can have that too. So, I hope you guys had fun with me. I definitely had fun uh, hanging out with you guys and reading these things. Uh, so, I will catch you all on the next video. Bye-bye.